Hello everyone and welcome back. In this episode I will complete the 12 u Eurorack case and start to populate it with some modules. So let's continue with the electrical installation. I decided to go for two 12 volt switch mode power supplies from Meanwell, each one outputting 50 watts. They are connected so I get plus 12 volt and minus 12 volt and a common ground. The bus boards have linear regulators that will provide plus 5 volt for the modules. The mains voltage is connected through a C13 Euro connector with built-in switch and fuses where both live and neutral leads are turned off by the switch. And there are two fuses as well. I will use eight bus boards in total and four of them will have 5 volt linear regulators, one for each row. I also need eight bus board mounting plates, so it's time to put the 3D printer to work. While the printer is churning out all the parts, I will start assembling the bus boards. There are 80 pieces of boxed header connectors to solder. So, shop shop, better get started. After soldering everything together, it was time to test that the boards were working. I also checked that the linear regulators were outputting the correct voltage using a multimeter. I decided not to glue the back panel of the case. Instead I used 3D printed brackets to screw everything together, because it's easier to disassemble if I need to. I did some experimentation with the placement of the power supplies and uh, placing them at the bottom <laughs> would have been a really bad idea because it's so easy to drop a panel screw into the high voltage PCB. After that it was time to place the busboard mounting plates. Two busboards on each row connected in serial. I also placed the power supplies on the back panel with the connectors facing downwards. I'm using cable ties and anchors to attach the cables. But I don't like adhesive anchors since they tend to come loose after a while. So I designed my own that I could screw into the wooden enclosure. After attaching the mains voltage cables, I could test the power supplies and everything worked just fine. The final task was to connect all the cables between the power supplies and the bus boards and screw the back panel in place. And now it was time to populate the case with the modules that I have built so far. I still need to build a lot of modules to start making some sounds, but now I have a case to put them in. I'm very pleased with the result, and it was actually easier than I thought. The most difficult part for me was the woodworking, but I got some good help from a friend to help me cut up the raw material. I have just completed the design and build of a small DC coupled mixer and right now I'm working on the software for a small sequencer to my baseline DIY. So stay tuned for updates on those projects. You will find links in the description to my GitHub and Thingiverse for the parts that I have designed for this project. So feel free to use them. And with that I want to say thank you for watching and I see you in the next episode. Goodbye.